We're going to the dirt bike race now. You want to come? It's loud, noisy, and dirty. Boom, boom, boom. For three years, this kid played Alex P. Keaton's toe-headed shadow on the quintessential 80s sitcom, Family Ties. Can I be president of the truck company? Yeah, no problem. I'm chairman of the board. Five-year-old Brian Bonsell brought new life and an undeniable cute factor to the Keaton family as the young Republican Andy. Boy, Andrew, this I Love Republicans pop-up book was the best purchase I ever made. <laughs> Make Nancy wave again. Hi. The blonde, blue-eyed, all-American boy landed a few commercials at age four just by being adorable. The following year, on his very first audition, Brian beat out 500 other actors to become the new Keaton kid. It's different with girls. I find, I find her very, very attractive. I'm attractive. <laughs> Eager to boost sagging ratings, producers quickly made Brian's character the center of attention. Anybody want to kiss me goodnight? Family Ties finally got the axe in 1989 after seven years as one of the most popular shows on television. Finished! Brian cashed in on his sitcom cachet and headed to the big screen. I know it's all for me. He starred in the 1994 kid flick Blank Check and got to hang with Patrick Swayze in the box office stinker Fatherhood. Back on the tube, an 11-year-old Brian landed a recurring role as Alexander Rochenko on Star Trek The Next Generation. There's no such thing as invisible people. You're lying. Hey! The transition from child star to adult lead wasn't easy. The TV roles soon dried up. Brian cut his ties to the biz and headed off to military school. So where is Brian Bonsell now? Brian's ditched the bright lights and casting calls of Hollywood for the Colorado Rockies. I had just done it for a long time. I just kind of wanted a break. I kind of just wanted to go on living, I guess, a normal life. I feel weird saying that because so many people would love the chance to be an actor and actress. And when I tell people that, they don't really, you know, understand it. The former primetime darling has found a new creative outlet, rock and roll. I really want to play music. That's what I want to do. I mean, if I'm ever bored, if I ever I have nothing to do, I play my guitar. Forget the apple-cheeked Andy. These days, Brian's a 20-something punk rocker with a newfound love of piercings and tattoos. My first tattoo is just a Japanese sign for lucky. On my other arm, I got some lightning bolts on my back of my arms. I'm going to end up covering my arms anyway. While Brian doesn't miss his TV days, he has great memories of family ties and his on-screen big brother. Michael J. Fox was my, my biggest influence. You know, I looked up to him, everything he did, you know, on the show and off. And he finally understands what the laughs were all about. I didn't really think it was funny then. The first thing your teacher's gonna ask is what you did over the summer. Now, what are you gonna say? I watched the Iran Contra <laughs> But when I watch it now, I actually get the jokes. Da -da 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 -da. 